Time now for our plastic surgery today segment with our segment sponsor, Bay Area Plastic Surgeon, Dr. Stanley Jacobs. Hi, Dr. Jacobs. Good morning, how are and you? I'm great, and today we're talking about something that I think um, will interest so many people, mm -hmm. the chin. Right. And particularly this, th this thing right here, but as I was the asking gobble. you, is it when you get old and it gets little, or is it like sometimes young people just have, it's not that they're fat, they just have the chin. Right, so there's, there's sort of like this picture here, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, okay. Maybe we can, maybe, maybe we can, can. Maybe we'll give can. it a try. Anyway, th Before this, is a, after, this is a gentleman that, okay. that, you know, he actually lost some weight and so the, it sort of sagged, but also genetically he had that kind of a neck from his father. Right. So this is him post-op, but it's not just a liposuction because it's, he's a little bit older and his skin is not tight right. enough. Right. So if you take the fat out of him and do lipo, his skin will hang lower. It'll get, because there's no then elasticity. The big, like, and then it'll be horror. Thingy, it'll be right. like, don't do it at all. Right, I got you. So, so here we tighten him up with a necklace. Did you cut him somewhere? Yeah. yeah. I can't tell. Yeah, you can. <laughs> you're not telling me. I'm not telling But so the, you're, you, you will have a scar that no one can see. It's a difficult one to see. It's yeah. difficult. Okay. And then the, all right. So this is, this is, now how about for the older, you know, person right. who. And then we have this lady who's yeah. a little bit older and she just had no, no fat, obviously, right. but a lot of loose drooping. skin. Yeah. And this is also a little muscle in here called a platysma. Okay. There's, we all have a neck muscle, but in this case, it becomes like a ribbon. Oh. And it, you see cords sometimes in necks. You ever notice yeah. that? Yeah. That's the platysma falling apart, kind of, and getting ropey and stringy. Okay. So we, you have to go inside and tighten the muscle and right. tighten the skin. Oh and my so, gosh, and look at her And then after. you can get a, a nice you know, jawline, and also improves even this area in here if you do it right. Right, okay, and let's see, you brought in one more picture. And then the last one is somebody who just has really bad sun damaged skin and okay. older, a lot older and a lot more wrinkles. So in her case, it was to improve her neck, but also just make her skin texture well, better. Well, and you did, you did obviously more than just yeah, the neck on peel. her. Yeah, I did peel, I did peel. So, okay. so, that, so there's, there's different kinds of situations. Now let's say though, like I'm looking at the after shot, and let's mm. say somebody is, you know, quite fit or whatever, and they still are bothered by just that little. Right, great it, question. Is that a full surgery no, thing? No, no, if they're young enough, you can just do liposuction and their skin goes boing and it's, quick, it's easy, it's I straightforward, see. tiny little incision, you won't see it. Right. Some people will have maybe just a very small retrusive chin. You what know, is a retrusive? retrusive means like no chin bones very small. Oh, like a So the jaw in. goes back. Yeah, I got you, right. And their face is sort of inclined this way. Yeah. So then you put a little implant. Right. And then bring their jaw forward and then like do a little lipo and that changes the whole dynamics of the face with a very small procedure. Wow, that's great. So we're gonna, Transition the next time when I'm here to talk about the younger patients that just have lipo. Yeah. And we'll show up those. Because that's an in and out thing. This that's, this is more than. These are more, right. but in and out, but okay. a lot quicker and easier. Yeah. And then the next one will be sort of transition into the people with smaller chins and an implant. I'll bring an implant and show you. Do you ever send somebody home and just go, you know what, you're just a little chubby and that'll go if you well, lose weight? Well, well that, that we first we have to have that conversation first. You right. have to say, how's your weight? How, what are you doing? What's your you know right. what's your program of exercise? Because when you lipo that out, will it come back? Not if you maintain your weight. Oh, okay. No. All right. Great. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Hey, if you want to know anything else about what you've heard here today, uh, you can go to Dr. Stanley Jacobs' website. It's drstanleyjacobs.com. You can go to crownford.com as well. Or you can give him a call at 433-0303. We'll be right back.